Hey everyone, it's uh, Pastor Paul Krampitz. I'm coming to you from Bethany Lutheran Church here on Court Street in Cromwell, Connecticut. Welcome to another edition of From the Pastor's Study. I don't have a prop to show with you uh, to show you today, but um, it's summertime, and uh, some of you might be campers, and some of you might be real campers. You know, I'm talking about ones that actually pitch a tent. Um, not that there's anything wrong with sleeping in a camper or an RV of some sort, but to my mind, uh, real camping is uh, is putting up a tent. Um, you know, tents were important in Scripture, right? Um, the incident that comes to mind uh, quickly for me is uh, on the Mount of Transfiguration when uh, the disciples have this spectacular moment and Peter says, Lord, let's, let's pitch some tents here. Let's, let's stay a while. Um, the Greek word for God living with us, abiding with us, is related to tents, that God pitches a tent with us. That's a way to understand the incarnation, God in the flesh, God with us, pitching a tent. Uh, tents, of course, were important for God's people of old. As a nomadic people, very often they would be traveling and erect tents to stay in um, between their travels. Uh, tents are important for us here at Bethany Lutheran Church. Uh, during the summertime, um, when we've had outdoor worship services, we pitch a tent canopy, and it provides shade, and it's a place for us to gather um, underneath. Uh, we're hoping that we'll be able to have an outdoor service uh, sometime this summer and uh, very likely we'll have a, a tent in place for us to do that. So when you are pitching a tent, you've got to think about how many people can fit underneath it. How big does the tent have to be? I think about the church as a tent a sanctuary or a safe place under which people might gather. And the church being the house of God, we might ask, how big of a tent does God pitch? I believe that the tent God pitches is infinite, that there is no one that God wants to exclude from gathering into the presence of God and with God's other people. Um, it can be difficult sometimes. Uh, we might want to exclude certain people from that tent, purposely keep that tent limited in size so that there can only be certain types of people or a certain number of people. But I believe that God calls us to pitch wide tents that will accommodate a broad diversity of people a broad diversity of worldviews, a broad diversity of um, understanding how God operates, that we should be a church um, that is wide open for all, a church that has a very porous boundary, if you will, that allows many to come in, but at the same time has a very strong center, you know, that center pole, that really supports the tent. We need to be clear about what our center is. And our center here at Bethany as a congregation of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America is God's love made known in Christ. The gift of love, forgiveness, salvation, and eternal life made available to all by Jesus Christ. We welcome all because God welcomes all. We welcome others as God has welcomed us. And we pitch a wide tent. That's why I'm so proud that we are now a reconciling in Christ congregation, where we are very explicit in our welcome statement that we do not exclude others for any reason. It's a big tent, and I hope that you can be part of it. Until next time, this is Pastor Paul saying goodbye and God bless.